Hey guys, so for this video, I'm going to be showing off the absolute best double movement settings in Fortnite. Double movement, as many of you know, has become one of the hottest new setting options in Fortnite Battle Royale. Pretty much every pro player is using it, and it really does make your movement feel completely different. What I'm going to do is show off the two best double movement programs that are available, Wooting and Keys to X Input. For each, I'm going to show the best way to get them, their pros and cons, how to actually set them up. I'll even show off some cheeky strats that most pros do not want you to know about. Oh yeah and timestamps down below as always. Thus, drop a like if you're switching to double movement or if you already have, and without further ado, let's get right on into it. Alright, so before I get to the actual tutorials, I kind of want to answer some commonly asked questions regarding double movement. First is whether or not you're actually allowed to use it without getting banned. Now, while I do agree, it is weird that you have to go out and download a third-party program just to use on Fortnite for double movement. Like, why Epic? That is currently the only legal way to obtain it on keyboard and mouse. You see, Epic actually clarified their stance on double movement back in April. This was a few weeks after that Benji Fishy said it was no longer bannable, and it was also after I said they would be making a public statement. I told you boys I had connections. Seriously though, in the article that I will link down below, you guys should definitely read it. They pretty much said exactly what I said in my past double movement video. Word for word, key remappers are permitted within Fortnite. The spirit of our rules allow for players to reconfigure keybinds in a way that wouldn't be possible inside the game, including double movement on keyboards. They also added after that, using these tools to automate multiple actions, mapping a single button to play multiple building structures is not permitted. What this means is that you are perfectly allowed to use either of the two programs I'm going to show for double movement. Both of them are legal to use in game because as Epic just explained, you're simply remapping one keybind press on your keyboard to one controller press on an emulated joystick. What is not illegal is what Epic said after that, anything related to remapping one keybind press to more than one action. That is what's called a macro and is how people like Rift and Serpent AU can edit so fast they remap one keybind press to confirming, starting, selecting edit pieces. It has to be one to one or else you will get banned. So yeah, double movement is officially legal, my inside sources were correct, and controller players everywhere are jealous. Just kidding, they still have aim assist. The next question on everyone's mind is if double movement is actually worth getting used to. Most of you guys probably think it is, hence why you're here watching the video. You wouldn't really click if you didn't think it was. But for those of you that may still be on the fence, including you and RG Clicks, here is my response. Double movement is currently one of the biggest advantages you have on keyboard and mouse. Not only does it help you collect information and see more of what's going on in front of you as you run sideways, but it also helps you get way better piece control. Just think about it. Without double movement, you really cannot cut corners that sharply. This means when you go to build a wall directly to your right or left after coming around a corner or even just running to the side, you're forced to slowly turn your entire body and then place the build. That time you took to look to the side solely because you're not on double movement is going to get you absolutely destroyed and pieced up by someone with double movement. They could literally be looking sideways as they run and place the build instantly. They do not have to wait. And that actually brings up my next point. Everyone when not using double movement is going to fall a lot behind the skill curve. With double movement now being legal, controller players on console, controller players on PC, as well as most keyboard and mouse players on PC, all have access to double movement. Sorry keyboard and mouse players on console. Can you guess who also does not have double movement though? Yep, it is the clicks fanboys that do whatever clicks does and have decided not to switch themselves. I should honestly just not recommend them these programs. I really should not teach them how to do it because they're going to use it to destroy me in tournaments, but luckily for them, I'm a nice guy who wants to see them get better. They are my subscribers after all. So please do not be the only idiot who has not switched to double movement. It will take a little bit of getting used to at first, any new setting will, after a few hours you will master it, your piece control will get better, your movement will get better, your counter piece control will get better, you essentially gain FOV because you can see more of what's going on around you. It's so broken! Onto the actual tutorials, let's start with the new best double movement program, the Wooting software. All you need to do is type up Wooting Double Movement, I'll have the link down below as well. Wooting.io, this is what the page looks like. This is the same company that released the Wooting keyboard, which is right here actually. I made a whole video on this. They basically took the software inside the Wooting keyboard and made it free to use for everyone on Fortnite. Shout out to the Wooting guy, because the software is so easy, it's free 
It's really, really good as well. What you're gonna do is press the first one. It says download now. Click it. You should see the download in the bottom left of your screen. It also explains everything, which I'm gonna do as well. This page is so helpful, and I'll show some of this extra stuff after. Once it downloads, double click on it. Double click on it. It's gonna install the emulator for you, and this is what you're left with. Literally just this tiny little screen that says enable double movement. There's a hotkey, which is control P. That's to disable. That's to enable. Control P. Control P. And then it says you need to do two things in Fortnite, which we're gonna do now. As you can tell, I am in game. I have the most awful movement. This is normal movement. I haven't used it in so long. It's so bad. What I'm gonna do is go to my settings, go to the top, and click the little keyboard icon. It is the fourth page. And I'm gonna lock input method. My head always blocks the setting. It's called lock input method as mouse. I'm gonna turn that on. It's under your mouse sensitivity. And then the other thing I'm gonna do is go to my keybinds and I'm gonna X out, move forward, move left, move right. All of these I'm gonna disable. So there's nothing. I know it sounds weird, but just do it. Press apply. You're not gonna be able to move if you do not have the wooding software actually enabled. You should see I have it right here. I'm gonna enable it. And now when I go back into game, not only can I move, but I have double movement. Let's go. I can run sideways and build. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my. Maybe I wasn't so used to it. Ooh. It makes you more cracked on baby. No, but for real, this is the highest strafe angle you can get. And I'm going to show off all the settings, the ones that I recommend. So if you want to pull up the wooting software, if you cannot find it, go to the little icon on the bottom left and you'll see the little wooting double movement. Press show window after right clicking and it comes up again. It's so easy. I advise you guys to go and press advanced mode. That's going to drop down all your key bindings. So if you do not use WASD, maybe you're weird, you use ESDF, whatever you use, you don't just have to use WASD like most other double movements. The more important thing though is the strafe angle. So as you can see, I can bring this down to 0% or all the way up to 100%. What I was just showing where you can run all the way sideways is 100%, but what a lot of pros use is anywhere from 60 to 62%. 62% is the highest strafe angle you can get where you do not lose momentum going right and left. So you see how right now I'm going right, then I can go left. I don't stop. I don't lose any momentum. At the same time though, you can see it's not as steep as 100% was. I'm not running fully sideways. Like I can if I kind of contort my character's body, but even then I'm gonna end up running into the wall at some point. This is more of the original double movement. It's not like the really steep controller strafing. It is the highest strafe angle you can get without losing your momentum. Oh, I guess I kind of suck with it. <laughs> now what I use, like I said, it is the big bad 100%. All the way the straight bagels at the highest and look how hard I can cut corners bro both ways I'm literally running just like a controller player would. Because this is above 62%, if I ever want to change directions, running straight to the right, then running straight to the left, you see how my character stops? That little stop is a loss of momentum because the strafe angle is so deep. You can kind of keep it going if you do what I do, which is you only press W, and then while you're strafing to the right, you keep holding W. But if you want to go straight to the other direction, you will stop. That's the only bad part about a really, really steep strafe angle. I just love it because I can establish peace control so easily. I can also tunnel. Like, look at this. It's so fun. And it's so good in game. Box like fish. Box like fish again. Box like fish. Oh my gosh, I'm going peace mode. So yeah, that is wooting double movement. It is amazing. What I want to show are any issues you may get with it. If you actually go to wooting's website, they explain how to fix all their issues. This is why I love them. Number three, it says enable double movement. And then under it, is most common issues and how to solve them. If you click on that, you're brought to another page that shows every possible issue and every solution. The one I had originally was when you walk, it's regular keyboard movement or worse. You can see right there. It explains this symptom, which is basically the problem you're having. It shows the solution. It has a whole screenshot of what you should do. You just press select preset. That's what I did in game. And guess what? It fixed my issue for me. There's so many different solutions they give you 
there's really no reason to ask me any questions because they have all the solutions on their homepage. This one even has a video. It's an unlisted link and it shows how to do it. Bro, how much more helpful can they be? So if you guys have any issues, please go to this page. Again, it's under number three, most common issues and how to solve them. There's literally no way you guys will have any problems because they tell you how to solve it. <laughs> I love Wooting so much. The other program that I recommend is keys to x input. This is the dot zip, which I'll have down below. And now if you're wondering whether I recommend wooting or keys to x input, I personally recommend wooting. I think it's way easier and simpler. Wooting, as I just showed, is only one download. It lets you type when you're outside of game. It also, like I showed, tells you how to solve all your issues. But if you want to be cool, if you want to be different and copy your favorite pro who might be on keys to x input, then I'm going to show that right now. Now. So what you're gonna do is go to the dot zip, press download. This is the version 1.0.3. There's a new one which I'm gonna show after. It is really hard to understand that one. So after you download it, you can see in the bottom left, you're not gonna extract it yet. What you're gonna do is go to the other download link, Vigem Bus Setup. It's another weird name, but it's basically the controller emulator. Wooting downloads this for you. For keys to X, you have to download them both separately. And you're gonna go down to the bottom, go to Vige Mbus Setup x64.msi. That's gonna download that. I'm gonna drag the keys to x input onto my desktop. We're then gonna extract it. And this is what you get. Keys to x input, the actual application. But don't open it yet. We have not installed the Vige Mbus Setup. Click on that. This is the nefarious virtual gamepad. It's a controller emulator. It's all allowed. Epic even said it. I'm gonna accept the license agreement. Install. And you're basically done. You can just open it up you get that little noise and these are the default settings you have the enable and disable the hotkey is also alt zero so if you want to disable it alt zero enable it alt zero again this is just WASD with how much you want to strafe how much you want to go diagonal up how much you want to go diagonal down I'm gonna leave a link to my other video where I explain these a little more in depth you can toy around with them yourselves and if you actually hover over the value you can see direction of travel forward momentum applied only when holding A or D, then diagonal up, forward momentum applied when only holding W and A or W and D, and diagonal down is going to be the same thing, but backwards momentum, S and A or S and D. The values are a little weird, like they can go all the way down to zero or all the way up to like 30 something thousand. The two settings that I recommend, just like the last one, we're going to use one that is really light, like the strafe angle is not that deep. I actually gave this to the old man face bizzle and he loved it it is zero for strafes diagonal up is 10,250 and then diagonal down is 31,000 block keys off let me save it you hear the sound you can see the configuration is up here this is basically where it saves your settings this is basically the 60% or maybe like 55% on wooting it's really really light but it's still better than normal movement like I'll even prove it this is normal <laughs> And then this is the low 0, 10,250, 31,000 in keys to X. I'm pretty sure keys to X and Wooting have around the same kind of input delay, which is it doesn't really lag at all. As far as the settings you need for keys to X, you can go and rebind WASD. I don't have to exit out. You actually want to leave it in as W, A, S, and D. And then for lock input method is mouse. Again, keep that on and keys to X will work. Then the other setting, which Epic Whale actually uses, it is block keys enabled. Strafes are at 2,000. Diag up is 10,500. And diag down is 20,000. This is going to be very similar to 100% on Wooting. I'm pretty much going all the way sideways. There's no stopping me. The only thing I dislike about Keys 2X is when you use it out of game. Like, say I'm going to type something and I have it enabled. I can press Q, I can press E, but if I try Try to press W. I'm spamming it. ASD. It just does not type. And wooting, it does not do this. By the way, to fix it, just press Alt Zero, disable it, and you got WASD back. Stop your crying. It comes back. The main benefit keys to X has is you can technically customize it a little bit more to your liking. I can do any of these values. I can do 2001. Oh, that's more than that. You have way more options than wooting, but a lot of people just like simpler stuff. So you might just think this is a little 
too daunting. And speaking of extremely daunting, let me show you the newer version of Keys 2X. Bro, <laughs> look at that. It is really, really confusing. It goes so in depth and I just don't know how to use it at all. I would just suggest using Wooting or the original Keys 2X. They're just way simpler and they work really, really well. Overall guys, that is basically everything you have to know about double movement. So if you enjoyed the video or you learned something new, do be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel somewhere down here, and to turn on my post notifications. Shout out to everyone in the screen for using code Jarian. I appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. Remember, like I always say, if you use my code, let me know. I just want to shout all of you out. Otherwise, that's it for me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later!